Senator Harold Stanislas has demanded the resignation of Sufre Regional Development Foundation Executive Chairman Ernest Auger following the termination of five more SRDF employees. The senator notes that during his tenure with the SRDF from 2016 to 2021, despite the challenges faced by the foundation, no employees were terminated and alleges something more sinister may be taking place. He further stated that the recent termination now adds up to 50 employees who have been laid off since the Pierre administration assumed office. What's this happening in all of this? is that the persons being laid off are perceived to be supporters of the United Workers' Party. And I was hoping that this wouldn't be the case. But it appears very glaring when there is the constant statement coming from the chairman, the executive chairman of the foundation, that I know you are not one of us. On a weekly basis, those words are uttered to many of the staff, I know you are not one of us. Unfortunately, while targeted persons have been terminated, there is the influx of immediate replacements by open supporters of the St. Lucia Labour Party. However, it is the timing of these terminations which bothers the former Soufre Jose Jacques MP. He notes, while the tourism minister praises the influx of visitors to the island, tour guides are losing their jobs in the peak of the tourism season. Almost 80% of tourists who come to St. Lucia visit Sufre, the, the sites which are managed, operated and maintained by the Sufre Foundation. And the executive chairman and the board of directors would lay off tour guides in January immediately after Christmas, a month that we all know from a financial point of view is the most challenging month for an indefinite period of time, is unconscionable. As a result of this, he believes that these terminations were politically inspired. Stanislas has also called on the parliamentary representative for Soufre, Honorable Emma Hippolyte, for the immediate removal of Ernest Auger as the executive chairman of the SRDF. I am demanding the immediate resignation of the executive chairman of the Sufre Regional Development Foundation. If he refuses to resign, I am calling on the Prime Minister to remove him from the Board of Directors of the Foundation. An Honorable Emma Hippolyte, when you campaigned, you promised to be the parliamentary representative of all the people of Soufre von Saint Jacques. Red, yellow, blue, black and white. And if you are true to your words, if you are committed to those words, do what is right for Sufre, do what is right for the future of our constituency and immediately remove Mr. Ernest Oji as the executive chairman of the Sufre Regional Development Foundation. Stanislas notes among the most recent employees are individuals who have served the foundation for more than a decade. For Choice News Now, I am Chelsea Austiny.